Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is January 2. We're going to be reading about being brave. It says here, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere humans do to me? Psalm 5, Psalm 56, sorry, 56, verse 4, NIV. In God we trust. This is still printed on U.S. currency. Uh, currency is the money, like the dollar bill. Despite many people ooh, not truly, not truly having trust or even a belief in God, as Christians, we claim to trust God. It is this a model that is written on the currency of your heart, one that you can hold fast to in times when all else seems to be against you? You might spend some money today. If you do, remember, remind yourself of your trust in God as you hand over your cash. God, I do truly trust in you. There are times when I don't hear you and when I'm not sure of what you are leading me toward. toward. But I choose to trust because you are a God who keeps your word. Amen. Indeed, he is a God that has kept so many promises, so many, just by loving us, by giving us Jesus as a Savior, and Jesus' life, and, and his death, and his resurrection. We trust in God. We trust in him. We have Christ in our heart. That's what saved us, not not what we did, but what Jesus did on that cross. He paid for our sins. He resurrected three days later, proving that he was powerful, that he was more powerful than death, that he was God. And there's people in this world that don't believe that. They deny it. They say they don't believe, but they know there's a God. Because God built us. He created us with emotions and with faith. We are like him. We want that order. We want that that system that he has to offer of, of beauty and peace. Everything has an order in his system, in his plan. His will is perfect and everyone has a role. Every single person is here for a reason. And you were created in God's image with emotions just like him. He loves you so much. And I encourage you to get to know him, even if you're not a believer. Even if, you, even if you are an unbeliever, I encourage you to get to know Christ, get to know Jesus. And of course, learn to trust God a little more every time if you already have Christ. I, I really like the example a friend of mine gives me that she's in love with Jesus. She's in love with God. And I can't wait to start talking like that, to start expressing that kind of attitude. I, I really hope that um you know I, I spend more time with God, especially in prayer, because I, I know I don't pray enough. And of course sharing the gospel with others and helping them understand that God loves you. But he's not gonna let us stay the same. And when we have Christ it's a lot easier to get to know him, to get to uh, hear him. I myself don't really hear God uh, he speaks through me, through other people, through the, his word, the Bible, different things like that. But me, myself, knowing that he is talking to me through a voice, not yet, hasn't happened. So I look forward to it. And of course, you have to be close in order to hear him. So I'm, I'll be working on that. Thank you so much for your time. May God bless you today. And remember, do you trust in God? I hope the answer is yes. And if it is, let's show it. God bless.